people think that's inevitable that we have AGI because somebody will build it. And that, of course, is a stupid argument. There's nothing inevitable about building technology. We make our choices. We have resources. We decide to increase emissions because of AGI. We need more data centers. We make choices, and that creates our reality. So there's nothing inevitable about it. It's like when Oppenheimer got his people together. The argument was the Germans will have the bomb, so we have to have a bomb first. But same argument as today. The Chinese will have AGI, so we got to have it first. I think those are stupid arguments that will not get us anywhere because in the end, we want better tools. We want stuff to work. And now we have all these techno-optimists and promising utopia, but really in the end, they're creating dystopia for most of us and utopia for themselves. I sent the letter last year to pause the AI experiment. And part of the problem with those letters is that it's really not about AI or technology. It's about the underlying principle of society, which is our extreme capitalism to drive forward anything that makes money. So as long as it makes money, it's fine. And then if there are problems, we come back and clean it up later. And I think that creates a huge amount of problems. Climate change, global warming was created in this way. The food industry, the pharma industry, creating all things because we monetize. Uh, so really what we need to do is to think about not necessarily stopping AI development, but to cause the idea of making money with it. And if we had a non-proliferation agreement, then we would say you can make money with AI up to this point. But you can't build weapons with AI that automatically kill people that are on the list, that has different markers on your face so that you can be killed with a drone, as has already happened. And those kind of things, we need clear guidelines on this and also clear supervision of scientists. We can't just say that whatever science and technology allows is what we're going to end up doing. Because it may be like King Midas, where we're saying, turn it into gold, and then we die. We have to think a little bit further than that. Then the whole argument, if we're going to slow down with the development of artificial general intelligence, it would stifle innovation. Uh, the famous proponent of this kind of techno-optimism, Mark Andreessen, the, the argument of existential risk should be wiped away because we don't want to stifle innovation. That strikes me as madness because we can innovate as much as we want when there isn't any place for us to go. We don't need innovation. The second argument that I have against AGI, an exponential existential global public risk cannot be governed by a handful of rich people and their companies because their temptation, even if they want to do the right thing, is huge. We're talking about trillions of dollars, tens of trillions. Nobody is going to forego profits like this because there are some ethical concerns. That just won't happen. So these are public issues. They need supervision. They need control. They need people with great wisdom to help us to decide how we can roll this out on a global level. Who is mission control for humanity? That's the key question. Do you want mission control to build a digital entity that is more powerful than us without any control? That strikes me as a suicide mission. And who is mission control today? Is it United Nations? Is it the World Economic Forum? Is it the European government? Is it the Chinese ministry? We have to answer that question because we're shortly before that point, five years before that point, where we are inventing the biggest thing we've ever invented. And currently, I don't see how people are going to collaborate to make that a positive experience. We can't trust commercial entities to do the right thing, even though they, they may want to, and they may be great people. But this is the nature of business. The nature of business is to make money. You can get one trillion or 50 trillion, you prefer the 50 trillion. That's the way that business works. We have to find a public compromise. Otherwise, it's a race towards extinction. It's a race towards us becoming the second most intelligent species.